All right, folks. Um, today, you know, I've never talked about or shared my thoughts in regards to cost in terms of a, a wheelchair. I never have. Um, you know, I went through insurance, and you have to pay little by little to make sure that's the wheelchair you want, et cetera. But, you know, the, the question, uh, I think the biggest question is why are you purchasing this wheelchair? And some people just feel that they're not worthy, that they don't have enough conditions to warrant a wheelchair. <laughs> You know, and it goes on and on. People sometimes think that you have to have both legs absolutely broken or amputated, your head is falling off, and y you're at doom's door. <laughs> and not true, really not true. Um, there are different reasons why people have wheelchairs, um, not just because they have both legs broken and and you're there at doom's door. No, there are a variety, you know, and, and you can ask your therapist when you're there in terms of what are reasons why people have wheelchairs, and and there, there are good reasons, you know, just because in my condition I have uh, a lot of weakness in my legs and, and I can't walk long distances, um, you know, I also have fibro, so if I go out and I'm trying to do something in five minutes, I'm exhausted and that's it, I have to come home. <laughs> so the wheelchair helps me preserve my energy. It also helps um, me to get from point A to point B. I am one of those that is an ambulatory wheelchair user that I, can, I have limited walking and the rest I have to do in the wheelchair. There is also something called uh, therapeutic type uh, use of a wheelchair and that could be used in my case or it could be used in the case of uh, amputees that they can walk uh, but you know they get exhausted and they need to take breaks uh, so they use a wheelchair for the rest of the day. So. Um, and then there are people who literally don't have legs or uh, were born with certain defects and need a wheelchair to get around so, you know, they're not dying. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think that people just get in a rut of saying, no, I don't deserve a wheelchair. It's really, ex it's really for those who are just at doom's door. And that's just not true. Um, the reason why people just use wheelchairs is a, a huge variety of reasons. So I don't want people out there to, to feel guilty that they're not ill enough or their disability is not big enough or, or important enough. You know, if the therapist mentions, you know, we should take a look at a wheelchair you know, the, the guilt part needs to stop right there at the door and talk to your, you know, your therapist in terms of what, what functions is this wheelchair going to fulfill for you? Um, you know, I've heard over and over, you know, I'm so glad I got the wheelchair. I am so glad that, you know, this, you know, we did this. I'm so glad, you know, it makes my life easier. Um, it helps me with my energy. I know that, you know, I would not be able to go out and, and do the things that I do without the help of my wheelchair. I wouldn't, you know, it would be two seconds and <laughs> I'd have to come home. And that's what was happening earlier on. And I, you know, I was choosing, I had to choose for safety's sake not to drive and drive another day. You know, so gradually my ability to be independent and to do things on my own was, was the, the list was becoming shorter and shorter and shorter. And so the therapist said, well, we'll just get a wheelchair. <laughs> I was like, huh? Because <laughs> I was one of those who, you know, thought, you know, people who have wheelchairs are those who are seriously ill or amputees or... You know, so, 
and that's that's not true. So if a therapist or your doctor suggests a wheelchair, talk about it. Just put out your questions, your concerns, your fears, your sense of guilt. Because I th I think it's it's the biggest piece of this is the sense of guilt. Like I don't deserve that, and um, I don't. I'm not as ill as the next guy. So, uh, and, and that's not true. Uh, you know, wheelchairs have a variety of functions. Uh, there's a therapeutic, there's an absolute need, um, and, you know, there's everything in between. Uh, you know, there's a community member here in our house, which she she should have a power wheelchair at this point, and, and they haven't ordered one for her. And it's it's just a concern for me. Um, Everybody is rushing to, to help her, and and shouldn't be that way. She should have more independence. So, you know, I don't want people to stop from getting that tool because you know wheelchairs are not going to you know, are not going to change, and I've said this before, they're not going to change you, your personality, your, who you are is going to stay the same. The wheelchair is just like uh, a tool, like glasses or hearing aids. That's what it is. It's a tool for you to be able to get from point A to point B and live a life that you deserve. Um, some people look down at us out there in the community. I don't care. <laughs> I remember there's a there's a store across from us, a food store, and once in a while I go there to either to pick up something that I want, you know, some candy or or something the house needs. Like one day I had to run over there to get some ketchup because um, we ran out. Uh, you know, so I'll do little things like that because I can go a little bit faster <laughs> than the people who can walk. <laughs> so, and I remember, I don't know if he was a manager, I don't know if he was, I don't know who he was in the store, but he just absolutely froze and was staring at me the whole time. I was going up and, and, up and down the aisles trying to find the ketchup, and he was just staring at me like I was a critter with eight arms. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, sometimes people can feel uncomfortable with that, but honestly, um, it was none of his business, and he, he was just frozen, and I could not understand why, <laughs> but I really had to focus on my task and not get emotionally bent out of shape because he was staring at me the whole time. Uh, and again, I don't know if he worked at the store. I don't know if he was a shopper. I don't know if he was the, you know, the manager. I really don't know, and I really don't care. So, and that's another thing that you know. Sometimes we get tied up in our emotions in regards to what other people are thinking, and you just, you just can't. <laughs> You know, if you wear glasses, are you going to be worried about what other people think about your glasses? You know, if you get hearing aids, are you going to be worried about what other things about what other people think about your hearing aids? <laughs> it's like, stop it already! <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> um, really, it, getting a wheelchair, a tool like a wheelchair, is you know you caring about yourself, you caring about your needs. And it's nobody else's business but yours. Um, truly. Uh, I'm sure this manager, or whoever he was in the store, is going to stare at me again. He'll see me again picking up bread or whatever I need to do at the store. <laughs> and um, I don't care. I know that some wheelchair users have had a lot of trouble with this, with people staring at them. And you're going to have that in public off and on, um, but it's none of their business. It's it's yours. You're enjoying life. You're getting to go to the movies. You're getting to enjoy an ice cream cone. You're getting to do because of the wheelchair. You're getting to go to the restaurant and meet up with your family because of the wheelchair. 
You know, the wheelchair is going to bring so many positive things for you. You know, it's 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 not it's 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 not a, a black cloud over your head. It's you know, it is improving your life, caring about your life. You not about everybody else. You got to screen everybody else. And I've talked about this before, and I know I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit, but you know, when you purchase a wheelchair, there needs to be excitement, not fear. You know what I mean? There needs to be excitement, not fear. Uh, it's like buying a car, true, um, you know, because it's, it's hefty in, in cost sometimes for us, but you know, it, there should be positive excitement in purchasing a wheelchair, in receiving that wheelchair. There should be joy. There should be happiness. There should be, you know, uh, a, good, a good vibe when, you, when you're getting involved and getting the wheelchair. And there should be excitement. And, and that special day when they bring your, your wheelchair, <laughs> regardless of everybody else, because the, the public don't have anything to do with you in your purchase of that wheelchair. Absolutely not. And because it's kind of like purchasing, it's a big purchase, and it's kind of like purchasing a car, you have to look at the bells and whistles as well. You know, what kind of bells and whistles do you need on this manual wheelchair, power wheelchair? You know, do you need a cup holder? Do you need, uh, you know, um, let me see. You need a cup holder. Do you need something to hold your phone? Do you need something to, um, what else? In the back, do you need something to hold your oxygen or your walker? Uh, do you need a basket to be able to carry your clothes over to the laundry? You know, so it's, it's all those bells and whistles that are also really important. Um, I have attached to the back of my wheelchair now a telescope a telescope rod that I can put a uh, flag, an orange flag, so when I go to the parking lot, I'm not run over, because I was almost run over. Because <laughs> the darn truck, the, the whatever brand it was, it was a big SUV, and he didn't see me, and he just tore out of his parking space backwards and didn't see me, and I just swerved as hard as I could over to the grass, you know, and, and got out of the way. But but then I decided, okay, he didn't see me, he didn't care, I'm gonna put a flag back there, so if he hits me, you know, there's no excuse. He had to have seen me because I had my flag. I was responsible in making sure that my chair was visible. So, um, you know, it's it's, you, and my bottom line is in purchasing a wheelchair is, you know, should not hold you down, hold you back. There's a few things that need to be considered when you're purchasing that wheelchair. The cost, the quality, the bells and whistles, the transportation, which is, you know, depending, uh, I think for manual wheelchairs, it's, it's a bit user, uh, easier to figure out transportation. For power wheelchairs, we have a little bit of a challenge, but you know, other people, other guys that I know out there just rig their power wheelchair, and they can go really far <laughs> with that power wheelchair. But do dress up for the weather. We've been, you know, I forgot I was distracted the other day, and I forgot to make the video for the caregivers, but for Monday. However, we've been involved in a big storm here and freezing temperatures. And you can see I have a heavy sweater on today because it, it's cold in the house. Our, our heater system is having a hard time dealing with the uh, frigid temperatures out there. I think you know our windshield is going to be 30 below, and maybe even more. So this is not a day for me to go out with my power wheelchair. <laughs> It would kill my batteries. So it, it's a learning process, all of it. But I want you to know that in purchasing, 
if you're freaking out, you shouldn't. You know, the company and your therapist will work with you in terms of the reason why you're purchasing this wheelchair so you're clear in terms of why you should do it. And they will help you in terms of what you should purchase along with that power wheelchair, uh, what you feel like you need. Uh, if you purchase, you know, the whole package of what you need in the power wheelchair, then you won't have to bother with that later. Um, so I, I just wanted to put it, put it out there. You know, if you're purchasing the wheelchair, your life will improve. Your life will improve. And you'll be happier. The wheelchair and you will become a team to make life more accessible for the most part. There are certain things in society we still have to work towards and, um, and make sure that society understands that, you know, restaurants, hotels, all those things, you know, need to be accessible because we are here, we are customers, we are consumers out there and they shouldn't annihilate us or keep us out. You know, we want to enjoy what they have. So, uh, despite our wheelchair, <laughs> our beautiful wheelchair. <laughs> but, but truly, the, 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 perfect, the purchase of, of the wheelchair should be an exciting time, should be uh, perhaps a little bit of nerve wracking, but you know, because it might be a new experience for you, or you're really desperate to get that wheelchair updated because your wheelchair is falling apart, <laughs> uh, which I hope not. But um, purchasing a wheelchair should be uh, opening doors for you in so many ways, and you don't have to be at death's door to get a wheelchair. That's my bottom line message. You do not have to be at death's door to get a wheelchair. If your primary care doctor suggests that you get a wheelchair or your uh, somebody in neurology or other department says, why don't you get a wheelchair? You should not freak out. No freaking out allowed. <laughs> Wheelchairs are a tool that will make your life easier. That's what a purchase of a wheelchair should be all about. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Feel free to look at one of the videos down below. Uh, you know what I'd like you to do with this, <laughs> to subscribe, to check it off, to like, to make your comments, to share, because it's really important for others to see your story and how it matches up their story, and then you can go back and forth and dialogue and get some important ideas from one another. Um, so stick around, stay around, stay safe from the cold, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>